Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna film my January monthly spread. Uh, this is a couple of days later than I would normally have filmed this. I would have had this up earlier, but I got busy and I didn't get around to filming this, so I'm gonna film it today. I'm sorry that the lighting isn't great. It is, once again, a gloomy, rainy day. I don't think I've seen the sun in a really long time, so I'm sorry about that. But the kit I'm gonna use, I ordered this from Planner Kate. I actually got it in the mail today, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. It's pretty simple. It's just a two-page Erin Condren kit, so it has a whole bunch of labels, the date dots, the top headers, event labels, some strips here, and then some sidebar strip, and then a whole bunch of labels, which is awesome. So let's get started started with this. Oh, so it, the strips are separate. Okay, I've seen other kits do that. So this is a pretty neutral kit, which is fine. I ordered it like that on purpose. So I haven't used a kit by Planner Kate in a really long time, but I really liked this because of the, I don't know, the color scheme just, I was drawn to it for some reason. So let's see if I can get this. It's not going to be perfect. Cause it's not gonna like, I didn't line it up great, so it's all right. I don't really care that much because like I've said before, it's my planner, so I can do it however the heck I want to. And it needs to be a little bit higher. Okay. And then we'll do this other strip for the days. I suppose I could have done this a little bit differently, but whatever. Okay, that's kind of crooked, but that's probably as good as it's going to get, to be honest with you. So, I think... Oh, I have to do the side stuff, too. Duh. I totally forgot. Um, you get this super long list, which I, like, never use my sidebar in this planner. But that's cool. Oh, at length, it goes the whole length of the side. Okay, that's really nice. And then there's some like glitter stuff to cover up the days that are not in the month. Oh, are these individual boxes? I guess, th oh, I guess that makes sense because there's only like a couple of days that aren't in January. And I suppose like if you decided to use this in, I don't know, say in 20 next year or whatever, you could do that because it kind of covers up all these days and then February 1st. Actually that's kind of cool. Sweet. All right so that part's done. Um, I do actually have another sheet. I ordered a bunch of like labels from her here. I'll just show you guys real quick um, since I just opened this but there are holidays, day off, half day, workout, game day. Um, that's just her business card. I just ordered a bunch of these because I always need these stickers. So that's why I got them. And then these are the holidays. So I'm going to put in the couple that are happening. So we have New Year's Day. And then MLK, which actually I have the day off. So I'm going to grab a label, I think, for that. I think I'm going to rip up that New Year's one too because... I feel like it's gonna look better if I put them on top of something. So let's do that. Yeah, I think this is gonna look way better. Like, trying not to rip this. Oh yeah, that looks way better like that. And it's crooked, of course. Because it wouldn't be my planner without crooked stickers. Okay. And then this will be MLK. Looks okay to me. So now let's put in some of the plans. So the first thing I'm gonna put is, I'm gonna mark some birthdays. I think I'll probably just stick with these same color, these guys here. Um, Cause two of my cousins have birthdays on the same day, which is kind of random, but they do. So on the 15th, it's my cousin Katie's and my cousin Lauren's birthdays. And honestly, that's it for birthdays. There's only two in January. For 
things I'm doing, um, I'm going to put on the 6th that I, I haven't actually something I'm going to that night. I've mentioned it before in videos, but I'm a part of Toastmasters and I have a meeting this night and it's at 5.30. So I'm going to try... There, it fits nicely. And then I'll mark on this side. Today's the fourth when I'm filming this and we had two things today. So the first thing was we did some canvassing and petitioning for a couple hours. And then at eight, there is the football game. So that's the Pats versus the Titans that I will be watching later tonight. So I'm just going to kind of stack these guys as such. Oh, I need to move that one up. There's not enough space there. Here, let's do this one on the bottom and then I'll just put that one right above it. Okay, cool. That works for the that weekend. On the 22nd, I have a doctor's appointment at 7.20, very early in the morning, for my annual physical. So we'll put that right. I'm just going to put it in the top because I can. Um, I have, I had the first off, so I'm going to put this little day off just up in the corner. And then I have the 20th off from work as well, which is really nice. I also need to mark, we'll flip this over to the other side. On the 11th, I am going to be doing some volunteering. I do that every year. It's for something called Future Cities. I'm volunteering as a judge. And that usually goes from like 7 in the morning till around lunchtime. So I'm doing that. It's kind of crooked. These are slightly not as long as the Erin Condren boxes. It could have been because this was meant for a past year planner, but I don't care. It looks fine. I might be doing something on the 18th. I'm not totally sure yet. Is that it? Well, I can mark paydays because I've got these little payday stickers. So my two paydays are gonna be the 15th and the 31st. And these are really, really spread out. Again, it's there's like two and a half weeks. So those are, that's everything that I currently have planned for January. The rest of the month is pretty plain, 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 plain at this month, at this point. We don't have any travel or anything right now. So I guess what I'll finish off with doing is I will put in all of the date dots and then when we're done, I'll be back. So this is what the month looks like. I'm sorry I can't fit it into the frame. My current tripod is not letting me, uh, it's not cooperating very well. Let's just put it that way. So that is pretty much gonna do it for this January monthly spread. I, I don't typically use these pages that month, the monthly goal setting pages. 
so it's usually just my monthly spread and I do reference this and fill it in so like at the end of the month I'll come back in and fill in other things we might have done for the month but that's gonna cover it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in my next video bye